What is up, guys? Okay, so uh, don't laugh. Uh, I know it. I know it looks ridiculous. Uh, so I have a new experimental item categorizer in case anybody is interested in playing around with it. Uh, so I thought I would just make a world download. This is uh, this is gonna be about what it is. Uh, you know, I just kind of threw it together. So if anybody wants to play around with it, you can, but I'm gonna go ahead and give a little demo uh, and you know, kind of explain some of the working parts in case anybody wants to change or try to adjust anything or make anything any better. Uh, but this is gonna be an item categorizer uh, and the uh, index system is pretty much the same as the last, uh, you know, like minecart item categorizer that I made. Uh, so I, I wanted, I've always wanted to make something like this. Um, maybe not as cheesy as this one, but um, you know, and it's probably not going to be as good or as fast as the two wide tileable one that I made, uh, or that the community made rather, because there was a lot of people that. Uh, you know, went into making that one. Uh, but this is gonna be uh, a parallel output. So I'll, I'll give you a demo of that uh, in case you want to see what it is and play around with it. Uh, let's take two stacks of cobble. Uh, so if we throw in multiple items, uh, including some junk items here, like, I want to put this one right there. Okay, so this operates using a hopper minecart. Okay, so the hopper minecart uh, is going to uh, be launched from this uh, tube here. So these hopper, hopper minecarts are already primed with filler items. Okay. Uh, and they are currently in a locked state, so they cannot pick up any items. Uh, so when they get dispensed, uh, they're going to go over this uh, unpowered activator rail, which is going to allow them to pull items out of the chest. So to pull items out of the chest, uh, they're only pulling... What's that? Oh, okay. So they're only pulling like a half a stack at a time. Uh, but so it's going to you don't want it to pull a full stack because of course then it would not be able to fit an index item so it would not be able to find uh, the location in the index that it needs to go to uh, so anyway it's going to pull out a minecart uh, pull out a minecart it's going to pull out oh, like a half stack of items or whatever uh, the minecart's going to come down here it's going to pull out whatever uh, index item it has uh, here it's going to hit a powered activator rail to lock it again so it cannot pick up any items. Uh, from here it's going to go over these four filters. So these are going to pull out the four different types of filler items. Uh, and then whenever it gets to the correct location on the index, it's going to go down into the water. And from there it's going to go over... Uh, what should be the correct location here. So once it falls down here, uh, this is pretty much like, you know, a minecart unloader, whatever. Uh, but this is going to activate, which is going to uh, trigger this, uh, which is going to be like a falling edge detector, which I guess I should have given you more of a view of that. Uh, but, so it's going to trigger a falling edge detector here whenever it gets done pulling out the items. Uh, and the observer is going to de detect a change in the rail, which is going to activate the piston. Uh, so the whole purpose of this was so that you could unload multiple things at once. Uh, so, like, that's going to be the cobblestone area. And I haven't seen the minecarts like veer off to the side or anything. Uh, so the minecarts are still in a lock state, so they're not going to be like pulling items from each other or anything. Uh, they're just going to stack up until they get unloaded. 
So whenever that one gets unloaded, that's going to trigger the piston to push it. Uh, and then the next one's going to fall in the location. Uh, so like I was saying about parallel, it's like... Uh, like if I take another stack of the redstone, then you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, because even though we ran it through a cycle, I didn't really give a good demonstration. So it just picked up some redstone. So it should be finding its way to this. So uh, as the redstone is going to start unloading, there's your second redstone. So we're already searching for the next item, you know? Uh, so even though this is still dumping items out, the next item is finding its location. Man, those graphical bug glitches are insane. So while we're still unloading redstone, we're already starting to unload the cobblestone. Okay, so this is what I mean by like in parallel. Uh, because if you have a lot of different item types, uh, then the minecart is just going to find its proper location. And it's going to like plop itself down here and get unloaded while other things are plopping down and getting unloaded. So yeah, I made this way too huge because uh, from what I've seen, you only have like two to maybe like four mine, mine carts stacked up at once. Uh, so I don't think it's really necessary to have like all of this. Uh, but, you know, I just threw it together because uh, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, so if you wanted to adjust anything, of course you can't have a full stack of items, uh, but it's kind of difficult to adjust. So the hopper clock here, uh, this is what controls how fast it releases new hopper minecarts. Uh, so the rate that the hopper minecarts are dispensed uh, has to be kind of tuned to the length of the index. Uh, so if you have a very long index, then you're going to need more items in your hopper clock uh, because you want to make sure that uh, the hopper minecart makes its way all the way to the very last one uh, and then the index has time to reset before uh, the next hopper minecart like leaves this area okay uh, so i don't know you know like how fast this would be if you made it like 30 chest wide um i mean it would still be pretty quick uh but you know i think the real benefit is when you don't have that many chests so right now we're only like 12 indexes wide and it seems to be like pretty fast um uh, but anyway, so the the way that you, with this setup, the way that you control the amount of items that's in the minecart is by adjusting these repeaters. So it's pretty much maxed out because uh, with the setup right now, uh, whenever a minecart, like we can just throw some items in. So when the minecart uh, gets dispensed, you can see like as it's pulling under there like the the repeater is still powering the rail you know so it seems like with this setup pretty much the most items that you're going to get is going to be like right over a half a stack so it would probably be faster if you could do like 45 or even like 60 items uh in one minecart but this whole thing would have to be tore down and redone. Uh, so just as like an experimental proof of concept, like this is as good as this one is going to get. Uh, so if you want to play around with it, uh, you just basically put items in the index. Uh, so like that, you just need to put one item. Uh, and you can put as many items in one chest as you want. Uh, and then I think one of these, yeah, this one I had something. Uh, if you have to 
insert new minecarts, do it over here. Okay, so I have this set up with a powered activator rail to automatically lock uh, a new hopper minecart. And it's just going to come in, it's going to have some filler items uh, put in it, and then it's going to get put up into the stack. Uh, so do not like throw hopper minecarts anywhere else in the system because then you're gonna you're gonna break the system. Uh, they have to be locked whenever they enter this area, uh, and you're going to want to make sure that they have filler items. So if you put them in, put them in right here. Uh, otherwise, some things that could be made better, like this area. Um, oh, you could also throw minecarts in here because I do have a powered activator rail here. But uh, this area, I tried different ways to get the minecarts to exit the area, but uh, I couldn't really find a good method. So, I mean, this is okay. They kind of just like bounce around in here and then like find their way out, you know? Uh, so I think that's okay. As far as the water columns go, if the minecarts are too close, I have seen one get stuck in here, but you know, like whatever, it's not, it doesn't break the system if you just have one like floating around in there. Um, uh, but, uh, I don't know, it works. As far as I know, it hasn't broken yet. Uh, so, if you guys want to play around with it and see if you could make something better, feel free to. Um, I, I don't, I don't think I told it, told, and told. Nah, I don't think I said it yet, but uh, these uh, latches down here, basically T flip flops, they work uh, with a sword. So the reason why. Uh, like normally when you're driving a minecart through a hole, you have to have a block. Uh, I don't think I have anywhere, have them anywhere else. But you have to have like the minecart like facing a block. Oh, right here. Yeah. So if you have a minecart here and you want it to fall down the hole, then you just put a block here. It, you know, hits the block and then falls down. But in this case, you can't really like retract you know, a piston and then like put a block. I mean, it, it would have been, I, I looked into it, it would, it would have been super complicated to try to do that method. So I put swords in uh, and with the strength of three, we're actually powering three pistons to retract here. But it's enough to where like the minecart goes down to the proper location. Uh, so even though it seems kind of cheesy, you know, it does work. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. Uh, if anybody wants to play around with it, there's going to be a world download in the, in the description. And uh, I guess that's all for this video. So I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>